Welcome back, ladies and gents. After a fruitful and enlightening factory tour at Trickers, I sat down with Mr. David Jeffrey, head of global sales, to discuss the history, prestige, and future global strategy for Trickers. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already to support the channel. There is lots of exciting content coming up, so watch this space. So, let's get to it. I hope you enjoy. And we started making shoes in 1829. So this year is our 190th anniversary. We have been making shoes in this factory since 1904. And we manufacture about a thousand pairs of shoes a week. And we export to a lot of countries around the world. Very much we're about making sturdy Goodyear welted men's shoes. Our iconic look is our classic country shoe and boot. Nothing has changed pretty much since when we first started doing this shoe 82 years ago. Um, it's almost become the iconic shoe of trickers and 60% of our total production is done across these two styles. In terms of our um, points of distribution, we have uh, retail customers that we sell to around the world. Plus we also have our own retail store in London, in German Street, which we've been on since 1927. Um, and we've just opened our second standalone store in Japan, in Tokyo, this year. As far as markets as well, particularly in Asia, yeah. um, where would you say your biggest markets are as far as country? Uh, in Asia, it's Japan. So we have Japan, Italy and UK are predominantly our, our biggest markets. Mm. And so that they alternate depending on fashion trends mm. depending on the year. Been in South Korea now for two years mm. and the business is really starting to, mm. to elevate and we're just starting to um, enter into China. Mm. About three, four shops that we work with in, in mainland China and then we also work with two or three shops within Hong Kong, mm. China. So, so the business is starting to grow in, in, in China. Mm. Um, we, we certainly see it as a very, very important market for the next 30 years of, of Trickers. Um, and we feel that the Chinese customer is certainly looking for a brand that has heritage, provenance, you know, good quality. We're super excited about China and what, what it's going to do for us as a, as a business going forward. So that's actually where we met. We met in Shanghai at the um, CBBC, China Britain Business Council, Best of British event. And... Uh, we had a fantastic chat, didn't we? We really yes. hit it off, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And David very kindly invited me to have an exclusive factory tour. Mm -hmm. So, how does Trickers differentiate itself from other you know, top quality um, British shoemakers? You know, the likes of Parkers and John Long. Many, many years ago, Northampton Shear has always had a, a history of shoemaking. Mm -hmm. It's been making shoes going back in the you know, to the 1300s, mm -hmm. you know, it's always had a very sort of strong mm -hmm. shoemaking history. Over the years, in the late 1950s, we probably had three, four hundred shoe factories within Northampton. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're down to ten. It's almost like we've become almost pigeonholed for what we do. Mm -hmm. So we're arguably the best at making sturdy country shoes and boots. The other shoemakers, one might be better at making the dress shoe. Mm -hmm. One might be better at making a, a loafer, one might be better at making another product. Mm. So I suppose what differentiates us now is mainly down to the actual product that we make. A lot of people will still buy trickers because of the practicality mm. and the durability of, of the product. Mm. The, the point of difference is purely down to what we do in terms of styling. Mm. As far as famous clientele, what, what other names? Do we have out there that you can mention? We've done various different movies. We're always getting call outs. We have the Royal Warrant for Prince Charles. So we, we supply Prince Charles and the Royal Household with, with shoes, with footwear. In terms of sort of famous people, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a customer. Guy Ritchie, the film producer, he, he's a customer. A lot of people don't like to be known as customers. You know, that's, that's one cool thing about Triggers. It's very understated. Mm. We're not big on branding, it's low key, mm -hmm. um, and it's almost like we want people to, to find mm -hmm. us, and once they've found us, they will probably won't buy yeah. another footwear brand because of how good that we are. As far as the future for Trickers as well, we've, we've discussed Asian expansion, yeah. which is, I think, um, a very wise move. What other areas can you mention that Trickers are maybe developing? For us, I think it's just more about um, 
having a global strategy. You can only make so many pairs of shoes a week, so we're limited to how much we can grow. You know, it's almost a case of better, not more. So let's find the best of the best and we'll work with those guys. Also, the long-term strategy is also retail stores. Let's have a store in New York. Let's have a store in LA. Let's have a store in Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou. The potential is, is endless. Also, we have our digital side of things. When I joined the company four years ago, we weren't doing e-commerce. You know, now we've got a, a very successful e-commerce business that's probably you know, 15% of our total sales. You know, let's get that to 20%, 25%. You know, let's work with partners in some of the key markets on an e-commerce strategy. You know, obviously in, in China, you know, e-commerce is, is much more important than it is in, say, other countries. But we really, really feel that there's a lot of opportunity to sort of uh, develop the brand in, in other markets where we're not so well um, developed. I want to thank Mr. David Jeffrey and the team at Trickers for their hospitality, openness and their gratitude. To show me around the factory and to get first-hand insight is something really special to me. And the response so far has been tremendous. Would you like to see more of these kinds of videos? If you like this video or have any questions, let me know below. Please give it a thumbs up and share this video for more people to see the wonders of the finest handmade British boots and shoes. Thank you. See you next time. Built for a lifetime. Trickers.